We've been using PID controllers to control our plants, and we've been designing PID controllers using Root Locus. Here's some insight into PID controllers. PID controllers can be written in time domain form in the form here, where we take the desired input and subtract the measured input. This comes from the Unity feedback form, and then sum together the value multiplied by gain, that's the proportional part, the derivative of that value by times some gain, and the integral of that value times some gain. If we would look at that in transfer function form, we can write it like this as a sum. There's a proportional, integral, and derivative gains. Or if we rearrange the terms and then factor them out, a PID controller can also be written as a gain, two zeros, one at z1, one at z2, and an integrator. Be aware that this is a non-realizable system that is the order of the numerator is higher than the order of the denominator. And so we may find that we have to add a fast pole at some arbitrary location to the system in order to make it a proper system. On with some insight. Adding KP proportional control tends to speed up a system. This is not always the case, but it's a, it's a generality. You can see if you have a first order system, adding KP, sends root locus that direction, making it faster. If you have a second order system, the system gets faster and then eventually starts oscillating. So in general, KP is used to speed up the system and it generally helps make the system more stable when used alone. KD adds a real zero to the system because we're adding a derivative control. That means that if you have a system with some zeros at infinity, that one of those zeros goes away because it's replaced by the real zero, and that tends to make systems more stable because the more zeros you have out at infinity, the more they tend towards the right half plane or the unstable region. So you can see here in a second order system, if we have two poles and two zeros, if we add a derivative control, we're adding a zero to the system. Adding a zero to the system takes these zeros and forces one of them to be out here in a more stable region. In general, adding KD increases the damping in a system. In a second order system, you would see where normally the poles would come together like that, but if you add a zero to the system, you would start seeing poles coming over like that, coming down towards the real axis, which increases the damping. A disadvantage to adding derivative control is that it increases the system's sensitivity to noise. It's taking the derivative of the error signal. If the noise is high frequency, there means there's fast changes in that error signal due to the high frequency noise. Fast signals, if you take a derivative of those, the slope is high, so the derivative ends up being large, so you end up with a large component. Integral control adds a pole to the system at zero. A pole at zero increases the type number of the system, so type zero system goes to a type one system. Type one systems have zero steady state error to step response, so integral control is usually used to eliminate steady state error. Disadvantage to integral control is it tends to make the system less stable because by adding a pole at zero, you also have to have a corresponding zero added in. That corresponding zero is going to be at one of the infinities because it doesn't already exist in the system. So you can see what happens here in a second order system. You have a system with two poles, you're gonna have two zeros. If you add in another pole, well, you have to add in another zero and the pattern then forces two of the zeros to be over into the unstable region. So as you increase the gain, you're going to drive the system more stable and Ki at high gains tends to make systems be less stable. In some real systems, you can put on a PID controller and actually tweak the proportional integral and derivative gains by hand just based on the response of the system. It's better to do some analysis, but if you were to do that, you would find that as you increased KP, the system would tend to speed up. As you increased KD, you'd find the system tends to have more damping. And as you add in KI, you'd find that you would get rid of the zero steady state error, but you may affect the stability, so you'd have to go back and tweak your KP and KD. 